What is up guys? Welcome back to another Crypto Camel video. Hope you guys are doing excellent on this Wednesday afternoon. We got some beautiful sun here in Ontario, Canada. So guys, make sure you go out for a walk, go for a run, hydrate, you know, get that sunlight, that vitamin D action. Later today, I'm going to go for a nice run, do some sprinting, some Usain Bolt action. We're going to be talking about my favorite meme cryptocurrency, none other than Papa Hoge. If you guys are enjoying these quick videos, remember to smash up the like button. And let's just jump right into the video, guys. So, Hoge, we're looking at a good pump. We're looking at a good floor right now, triple zero three. If you guys had those dips, the last dip that I bought was four zero six, and I think it was like twenty guay for gas. It was like a really low price. So, congratulations to everyone. And you know what? Still, it's still a good time to enter because market cap is still small relative to how high it can go. It's not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, but I'm still very bullish on the outcome for Hoge. Still feeling really bullish on November and December for altcoin season and Bitcoin. So we're going to see where it goes. Let me know in the comment section. Like I always say, guys, welcome to the Hoge party. Welcome to the Hoge club. Hoge. Liquidation. So 4 a.m., 5 a.m. today. I saw that there were a lot of sell-offs, you know, people were doing some big whale sell-offs and also liquidations. So it seems like this explains the dips that we're seeing. But of course, when you see dips, it's good to have some fiat, some stable coins so you guys can take advantage of that. That's exactly what I did. Dollar cost averaging, buying some more coins. Binance alone, basically one third of a billion on liquidation. So we can see that in the past 24 hours, nearly $900 million was liquidated. So the way I look at this is that this dip is pretty much whales taking profits, liquidations, and you know, I don't really feel comfortable with calling longs and shorts. That's not something that I would get involved in personally because the amount of manipulation that can happen. I don't want to get screwed over and I advise people to be very careful in that. Juan the Spaniard Archuleta, the MMA champion. Hoge is moving fast, get in now and get that gain. Yes, Juan, of course this guy, if you guys have been living under a rock, Juan Archuleta has been an avid supporter of Hoge. This guy is Bellator MMA champion fighter and this guy, I'm really excited to see the NFT stuff with him. I'm excited to see some future fights. Like I wanna see what's going on in the future for him because this guy is extremely talented and we love to have him part of the Hoge Club. Hoge, Hoge. The Hoge chart. This is interesting. Hoge held by community, massive. Hoge held by a centralized exchange or a decentralized exchange, very small. Hoge held by dev wallet, nothing. Hoge held by BS marketing wallet, nothing. So we think about the tokenomics of fiat. We think about the tokenomics of coins where they have a massive developer wallet. And though they may say, you know, we're going to use it for donations. We're going to use it for that. They can always pull the trigger, right? They can always just do a big sell off and just blame someone else or blame some other thing. Source, dude, Hoge man said so. I love that. Hoge USA Today, very recent. Our next article on USA Today just dropped. Hoge is headed to space. The hashtag Hoge Everywhere mission has no limitations. And of course, Hoge Aerospace Institute is something I'm really excited about because of the synergy also with Doge, with Elon Musk, you know, with SpaceX. And to have Hoge in space would just be great. And there's a lot of stuff going on. Too much for me to cover in this video. Make sure you guys check out on the Reddit and join the communities and get involved because I'm really excited to see where this goes. Tokens that significantly outperformed BTC in the last 30 days. And yes, we have none other than Papa Hoge on there. And this is great because this graphic talks about a couple of things. So we have uh, the 30 day price change but also the light uh, bar is saying how many times the token outperformed BTC and nearly seven times has Hoge outperformed BTC in the last 30 days with 303% uh, price change in 30 days. So that's incredible guys, right? The volatility, right? That big pump. That's why I entered a, a lot of these cryptocurrencies because we love volatility, right? Let's not lie about that. We love the volatility. We love the high. We don't really love the low so much, but we should realize the balance that if we are accepting a 500% plus, we should be ready for those lows also. It's about the mindset, right? So really exciting to see that and also BitCable News. Shout out to them. They've been talking about Hoge a lot. Top meme coin gainers in the last 24 hours. Number one is actually Hoge at the time of this tweet. 
59%, which is incredible. It's just great to see these three in circulation in this post. Ho, Shib, Doge, I love them all. And it's pretty much like a Triforce for me. I guess if it's, you know, if you guys know Zelda, Hoj, I guess, is doing like Courage, it's Link. Shib is doing a bit of Ganon, like the power, and Doge is doing like Wisdom, like Zelda. But, you know, like I always say, it's about unity, it's about love. I love Shib, I love Doge, I love Hoj. I love Hoj a little bit more, of course, you know, the Hoj Club. Hoj, Hoj. But there's love for everyone. And let's compare before we jump into the burn, guys. Compare $1,000 into Hoj today. It would be worth $183,000 at Shib's market cap. And that was at that time, so it's even higher today, maybe even quarter million. So that's pretty insane when you think about that scale. Before we jump to the burn, guys, I'm still feeling really bullish for Q4. I'm still feeling bullish on Ethereum, Bitcoin, the altcoin space, meme cryptocurrencies. I would be careful with 2022. So I kind of have like, I'm not ultra bullish where I think it's going to go right through the roof. Of course, we know stuff don't just go up linear. I think personally that stuff's going to be bullish November, December. But I think there might be a correction in January. There might be, call it a bear market, call it what you will. It also depends on what's going on with the government. If they change their tactic and they decide to have more of a pause on inflation, then that's going to increase the attention and desire for fiat. And that, of course, can have an effect on the market because, of course, fiat is involved with our cryptocurrency. So just be aware. You don't want to... Uh, conclude that yes, ultra bullish, the price will never go down. You don't want to be just completely no, it'll always crash. It's always good to be a little bit skeptic because you got to speculate to accumulate. I really liked that quote. There was a guy who left that in the comments a while back and that's always sticked with me. So let's finish up with the burn guys. In the past 24 hours, 63.8 million Hoj was burned from circulation. This is a fabulous number and if we add that to the previous day, the previous day we had 116. So Basically, 200 million Hoj was burned from circulation in 48 hours. That's just nuts. I can't wait for us to crack the 400 billion mark, and it's going to be insane to see where this number goes for the burn wallet when we get listed on the top five exchange. Who do you think it is? Is it going to be Huobi? Is it going to be Kraken, Coinbase, Binance? Who's it going to be? Let me know in the comments section. And that's a wrap for the video, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, remember to smash up the like button. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and that way you're alerted of the uploads. If you guys are based in Canada like myself, check out my link to Endax in the video description. Endax is Canada's most advanced cryptocurrency exchange, and they just listed Shiba Inu. And guys, they're very reliable. I've never had downtime when I've been using them during a really high traffic, bullish, or great buying opportunity. And when you guys sign up with my link, you guys get some cash sent your way and you help support the channel and I really appreciate it. So that's a wrap guys. I will see you with the next video on Friday. Take care.